This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 61 for Tuesday, July 23rd, 2013. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I know. You're, you're supposed to say, what's up? What's up? I can't do that. Oh my God, our kids, your nie our niece is going to watch that and go, what the heck is Aunt Lisa doing? How, how do you do that anyway? Like This right here, right here. This, like the like the, like Spock this. Thing? This is the Spock thing, but What's you can do up? it. What's up? Yeah. Worse. I'm too uh, pale to carry that off well. You did it Although, once. Yeah, I know. And it was pretty lame. <laughs> <laughs> you rap pretty well for a anyway <laughs> so we were just having a little chat in the chat about weather it is so awesome to not have it be a hundred degrees out yes I'm, indeed I'm liking that a lot so uh, it's actually been let me fix that actually been uh, quite pleasant today I think Lynn's even had like long pants on or something Jeez, I know. long pants. Just pathetic. <laughs> Please. Uh, let's see what's uh, what's been going on at home. Uh, gorgeous weather. A lot of college drama. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement, but. <laughs> Our daughter thought she was going to go to this, you know, thirty-two thousand dollar a year art school. Uh, she finally acknowledged that that's just not going to happen. Um, so we've gone through plan, what did we have the other night? Plan A, B, and C. A, and B, and C, just to I cover ourselves. that she picked the one I didn't think she would take. So she'll well, be you know. home with us for a little longer. Awesome. We can, watch, uh, we can watch Breaking Bad all together as a family again for the last season. Garrett doesn't like it. Well, yeah, okay, aside from Garrett. All right, so we watch some things with him and... Other things with her, we might be able to tempt him to watch with us if if you make popcorn. Okay. But you know, uh, that's that's been our big uh, drama for the week, I guess, is just all the the last minute frantic switching college stuff. So that's taken up quite a bit of time. Um, and with that in mind, since college starts um, for both kids, the first week in September, uh, I've already started to. Um, Prep for DC. Yikes. Well, that's DC is three weeks away. Oh my god. So well before um well before school starts. Yep. So I'm but, excited. Uh, I spoke with Bob Johnson this more uh, this afternoon and uh, we've got our hotel reservations and uh, it's everything's coming along. We've got six tables total. Awesome. Us, us plus uh, the PCA. Yeah, we got. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be a good show. Uh, I'm positive it's going to be a good show, but uh, we got some some things, uh, some irons in the fire that are going to be uh, uh, coming to a head, I guess, here in uh, in a couple of weeks. So it's going to be fun to uh, to reveal those at the show. You mean the the secret project? The secret project, yeah. That's for you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's touch on the DC show. Um, I was a total slacker, and only made our hotel reservations today. Um, if you're listening, watch us in one screen and make your hotel reservations on the other screen. Um, because in order to get the show rate, they have uh, we ended up with a room with two doubles that was um, disable accessible. That's all they had left. Yeah. So um, now, as people may cancel, they'll have things come up available. But if you want to get the hundred and thirteen dollar rate, call tonight and and see what you can do. Uh, there are a couple other options if you can't get into the uh, the Sheraton where the show is actually held. Um, I think the regular rate at the Sheraton she told me was uh, 159. Uh, we've stayed uh, about a mile up the road at a Hilton Garden Inn that was wonderful. 
Yeah, yeah, those are that was that's a really good hotel. Yeah, um, we we were very pleased with that, and when you pull into or or pull onto the the frontage road that leads to the Sheraton, you kind of pull straight, and you either turn to the right to go to the Sheraton, or you turn left into the Embassy Suites. So there is an Embassy Suites hotel right across, not the main road, but right across the frontage road. You could walk from the Embassy Suites to the Sheraton. So that's another option. I know um, several people, several exhibitors who stay there. And uh, of course, the, the beautiful thing about the Embassy Suites is the, uh, the gorgeous breakfast buffet and the, uh, the two-hour happy hour. So yeah, you've got some got some good options, uh, real pretty close to the show. So um, if you can't um, if you can't get in at the uh, at the the show hotel, then that, that's an option. So um, so what else? Uh, we're gonna be missing a few people. Yeah, that's that's pretty um, sad. So. Um, Eric and, and Steven from FP Geeks will not be there this year, uh, although I have been instructed that I am to don a tuxedo in Eric's honor. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, though. Is he going to pay for that? <laughs> no. We work too hard. You can't work in a tux. You'll destroy no. that thing. No way. I remember yeah. last year it was... That'd be cute. You can wear your bow tie. What was it last year in the ball? Was it 85 oh degrees or something? It was just ridiculously hot. It was hot. crazy. I mean, everybody was sweating, and not because we were all working so hard. I mean, we run around like crazy people. But the AC wasn't working, or, or somebody had turned it yeah, up somebody, when they meant to turn it down. Susan Ward a, usually uh, plays with it, but I don't think it was her. She usually turns it down. Yeah, somebody had a thermometer. There. Maybe it was 81. It was in the 80s, and, and poor Tim, he's sitting behind the, the, the table, and he's just he's, he's just sweating. It's just a <laughs> poor guy. I'm just like, you know, well, here's something to drink. Cause, yeah. Well, we were working in pretty hard. Stephanie, <laughs> we got to make sure we've got some water for you. Oh, yeah. yeah, poor Tim was running around, and, I mean, he... He worked his butt off, and uh, uh, he was he was mopping his brow a lot. But I, I couldn't Doing figure out right. why, because I mean we were we were very busy. But I I I wasn't that sweaty. But um, I have a feeling it was partly because it was like eighty. It was crazy. You had to go out into the lobby just to cool off. Yeah. Uh, they finally fixed it, like, at, what, 3 in the afternoon or something? Yeah, it was, it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It was crazy. Uh, so they're not going to be there. Tim uh, Tim Byler's not going to be there. Uh, and then, of course, um, for saddle reasons, uh, uh, Frankie Tedesco and uh, Bert Heiserman, actually, whose uh, 69th birthday would have been today. Um, Poor Alice. Bert, happy birthday, buddy! I know you're looking down on uh, on Alice and uh, and uh, wishing you could be in DC with us. So uh, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna miss all those folks uh, at the show. So and he and his boys used to wear the best vests. You'd walk past their table; they were in the lobby area, and you'd walk past their table, and he and Lewis and who is it? Warren Grenick. They'd all be in these vests with pens all over them. That Alice, horrible. that Alice made. Yeah, God love her. Yeah, but, uh, and Frankie, it's going to be weird to uh, don't take this wrong, but not be bumping butts with Frankie. He and Terry Mahorder uh, are usually on the other side of us, uh, so it's it's always nice to have people you know on your back. They kind of, right. you know, you don't have to worry about money or product or. You know, you just kind of apologize once for tripping over each other for the whole show, and you're done. Right. Yeah. So. so it's going to be, be too bad. Weird for Terry, I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be. Yeah. So. so. Um, anyway, um, go, go, sorry, go ahead. DC, schedule. Yeah. yeah. Um, show actually, I think starts on. Uh, Today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 
I think it actually starts on Thursday. There actually is pre-show activity on Thursday for those of you that are completely obsessed and crazy enough uh, to be there on Thursday. But um, it's just going to be some some minor trading. Um, although minor means that's when the good stuff goes. Um, but uh, really, the the the, the show kind of really starts on Friday. Um, I don't the, the the website's not entirely clear uh, from my uh, my reading. Uh, Nine o'clock, perhaps it, it opens somewhere around there. There's actually is a, a Deb Basil copper plate workshop uh, on Friday from nine to one. So it's a four hour workshop, uh, forty five bucks. Uh, the show goes all day. I think it probably ends around five six o'clock. Uh, and at six o'clock, there is a Bert Heisman Memorial. So, um, if you're there on, there on Friday, I think that's going to be um, probably is going to be a pretty cool thing. I know uh, a couple years ago we had a memorial uh, in uh, Chicago. Um, Who is that for? Was that for Stan? No, that was for. Um, I should know this. Um, Give me a hint. Mike. Mike. <laughs> I'm losing it. I can't think of who it was. <laughs> Former, the show started in his basement. Oh, Fultz. Fultz, yeah. Mike Fultz. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it was a cool thing, too. Because See, people got I never think of him by his name. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. just Fultz. Michael L. Like, Fultz. He had a name? That was L. Michael Fultz, actually. Oh, L. Michael Fultz. I'm sorry. I got that wrong. But uh, it, it was a cool thing because people got up and they told stories and, you know, and it's a different side of, of it, stories you, you probably never would have heard of otherwise, unfortunately. But uh, So I, I expect that um, uh, we'll probably hear some pretty pretty cool stories about Bert uh, on, on Friday. So uh, yeah. that's at 6. Um, Saturday is, is the main event. It's really, really the day to be there if you're going to be there. Open, advertise to the public. Uh, seven seven bucks to get in. Uh, ink testing and, and evaluation tables are open 24 hours. So you, you know if you, you want to come down to your your, your hotel room at uh, three in the morning and, and try out uh, uh, Giorban Eclate Sephir, you can. Um, but uh, it pretty much opens uh, seven seven thirty for 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 dealers. Uh, early admission nine o'clock. There's workshops. Uh, you know, we won't get too too detailed. We got three weeks to talk about it. So, yep. Um, lots of stuff. Show doors close at 7 p.m. on Saturday. So, um, it's going to be a long day. Lots of lots of yes. action going on. Yes, it will. Um, let's talk for a second about the ink testing tables. Go. <laughs> uh, traditionally, they have. Um, God, I don't even know how many tables. Six or eight tables filled with every kind of bottle of ink you can imagine. Every brand, every, you know, they get them donated. Um, the problem is some of these are old. These are great for dipping your pens. Um, now, I read on the website that this year there will be um, new ink donated by Jay Herbin. Right. But my, my caution is don't fill your pens from those bottles. By all means, dip and see what you like. Yeah, don't do that. You, you don't know how long these things have been. I mean, these sit literally open for days, and anyone can come in, and you've got half a pen still full of, of Aurora Black, and then you go to fill your pen, and some of the black mixes with the you know, Sailor Epinard and because I've got that on the brain right now um, or whatever, but those those inks may not be pure. Um, it's it's an awesome way to uh, to try a color, but I wouldn't fill your pen with it. That's that's yeah, my caution. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so that goes on the whole weekend and then Sunday is also a public day and that is also pretty much a uh, 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock, yeah. although it says it'll be open later, but uh, 10 to 5, pretty much a couple seminars. So Yeah, 10 to 5. I mean, they won't kick you out, but by 5 o'clock, a lot of people have, have started to um, 
started to leave or started to pack up, but people absolutely stay until the last customer has purchased something and, and gone. We always stay till the end. Uh, it always looks bad when people leave at, you know, two in the afternoon. Yeah, well, understandably, some people have to catch a, a plane or whatever, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yes, if anybody sees Aziza down there, tell her do not drink the ink. You don't know what's in there. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, let's see. Um, as far as us, we have a double date scheduled for Friday night. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm excited. And we're being driven. How cool is that? We don't have to worry about the GPS and how to get there and getting lost. And I hate it when the, um, the GPS says recalculating because that means we've gone the wrong way. <laughs> No, so so we, that'll, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. So double date with, with good, good, good friends. I can't wait. Um, just to, to kick back. We never get to do this. Usually when we go out to dinner, it's strictly business. We had a, a business breakfast in Raleigh. We had a business dinner. Um, where were we? In Miami. Uh, so, I don't remember where we were last week. So. <laughs> what, two don't weeks ask. Ago? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, you know, the whole we bought a company over dinner kind of thing. Um, so this will be nice to kick back and just be two couples. And I got to tell you, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yep. And then uh, Saturday, uh, we've been talking about it. We never get a chance. We, you know, we're always trying to cram meetings in or, or cram a, a drink with you know people we never see except once in a once a year here and a breakfast here so Saturday we've decided that we want to meet uh, and gather a bunch of people together either in the lobby or um, just maybe just meet in the bar and, and grab a drink or a soda and uh, bring some pens and play show and tell yeah that'll be cool yeah so so that's uh, the, what we'd like to do on Saturday, I think, is, is just uh, kind of take over the bar and everybody just kind of lay out the pens you've either bought or talk about the pens you were drooling over on Saturday. Torture me with some black card rubber pen that you bought. That's fine, too. Not me. <laughs> well, at least if I bought one, it would have a nib. Hey, now hang, <laughs> hang on here. That's not fair. So... Anyway, that's our plan. So cool, yeah. We'll we'll uh, we'll get more about that uh, as um, as the week gets closer. Although we've only got a couple two shows left before that, or two uh, two podcasts ah. before then. Oh my god! So that's like, uh, what is it? Three weeks? Three weeks from tomorrow? Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Very good. Yep. So. I have a question, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that I am not the only one. Uh, and <laughs> this is me making a, a public confession. Oh, so boy. we just bought Snorkel <laughs> Solutions. And the more I read, the more I like it, and, and the more research. And, and we have this huge box arriving tomorrow with the rest of the uh, equipment and the stock and all that. I don't get snorkels. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I understand the concept, and you know, I've certainly seen you just take them apart, put them back together, but I can never get the snorkel to retract. That's because you're doing it wrong. Well, show me, because <laughs> I can't figure it out, and I gotta tell you, by the time we get to DC, I need to know what the heck. You know, yeah, because someone doing... inevitably is going to ask you, where does this little gasket go? And I'm going to say what I always say. <laughs> Brian, hang on ask a second. Brian. Brian's over <laughs> Brian! here. <laughs> Come over here. Explain this. I'm going right, to go so, selling. All right, so I, I, I have here in front of me, this is actually uh, new old stock in the box. It's kind of cool. Um, Shaper snorkel set now. And, and this, this is this is a good thing to know too. Uh, even if you, you and, and Schaefer snorkels, you can find them in the box. They're, they're actually not as uncommon as you think. Um, you find them all the time. But in, in this case, this is a set. 
Um, it's got the pen and pencil. It's got the original stickers, original cellophane. Um, just because it's new old stock in the box doesn't mean it works. Um, and it, it is uh, especially the case here because this one doesn't work very well. Um, but uh, so I've got the pen here, and I'm just going to switch cameras here for a minute. Ooh, so, aren't you sneaky and tricky and stuff? Well, <laughs> you get to see how messy my desk is. All right, so I've seen it. I just dropped something on the floor, but that's fine. There it is, right there. All right, so all right, so I would take it apart, and this this is a uh, um, in fact, this one even has the original. Uh, you can see it's got the original uh, fine price or uh, little nib grade sticker on it. But uh, the way these work is, you know, you've got your your blind cap here, and the the most important thing is is to push in on the blind cap while you rotate it counterclockwise. See, I must do it the other way. I must twist well, you, it and you, you can't do it the other way. Oh, all right, twist it and it pull only it. goes. It only goes. It only goes counterclockwise. But the problem most people have is, is they wanna they wanna pull it out. They wanna rotate it and pull it out, and that doesn't work. Or it it sort of works, but it doesn't work very well. So. Don't knock that water over. That would be dangerous. <laughs> so here we go. You see it? I'll pull it back in here again. So you push in, and rotate it. See, I I get that far, but then I can't get the darn thing. Back in. Yeah. Well, if you, and I'll show you. I'll show you. An well, how example. does it feel? Well, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I truly spunky. don't know. Hang on. <laughs> so now, if you, uh, if I were to get it part way out, people will try to do this. See, and I, I'm trying to pull on this, yeah. it, it tries to come out, and it doesn't work. See, so. Yeah, that'd be me. But the more, the more you try to, the more you get it out, the more you can. Try to get it out. Okay. So you get it all the way out, and, and and it's about what is that? About two, three millimeters extended beyond the the tip of the nib here. And that's that's about as far as it goes. You could measure that. Well, I could, but. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so it's so, more than that. It's about five. It's about five millimeters from the tip, and this is the the slanted uh, snorkel tube variety because this is a Triumph nib. Um, but then, of course, to fill, and I don't think this will fill. I'm gonna put it in water. Me. I'm gonna put it in water here. Okay, Actually, I can do it, that. It, it did get some compression. Now, now another thing that people do um, is they pull it out of the ink too fast. So really, what you want to do. Is you wanna you wanna hold it in there for about thirty seconds. That's usually okay. what I do. Um, and then when you pull it out, it has ink in it. But then how do you get the snorkel to retract? I I always just hand it back to you after I've struggled. <laughs> Say me. fix it. <laughs> All right. So uh, just 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 to see if there's any ink in here, and I'm gonna pull this back out. Oh, so it did have a little. It does have a little Look bit of compression. That. All right. So it works. So I'm just going to set it in there again. Usually what I do, though, on, on all, all snorkels, regardless of, of what they are, I will, uh, I will usually replace the gaskets because it's just, it's, just it's, it's, not a, it's not a difficult repair. It's, time, it's just time-consuming, that's all. Okay, so now, now all you have to do is you, you hold your pressure in on the blind cap and then just rotate it clockwise until... Until it disappears. Until it disappears, yeah. Wipe it, it just off and then... looks so much easier. Maybe I just overthink it. Well, you know, the, the, the big thing is, like I say, is most people don't press in on the blind cap. Mm -hmm. Actually, it does. <laughs> it works. Actually, it's a miracle. It's actually pretty good, actually. Um, but just to give you an idea here of what we're talking about, so this part just unscrews. The barrel comes right off. You're up a little high in the screen. I can't I'm see you. The screen. Okay. There you go. So the barrel comes off, and the, the spring is in the. And here is stuck in the. Hmm, repair secrets. There's the spring, which really shouldn't. Usually, sometimes ends up in the barrel, but it goes on. It rests on here like this. See, I would never even dare to 
take one apart, let alone fix it. I leave all that to you. So, and then you see this part here, which is the, the threaded part. That's on the other end of, of, of this tube here, threads onto this, which is what causes it to screw down. Hmm. And, and this just comes out. All right. I'll have to play with those, I guess. And I, I should know how to fill it and retract it, at least, if we're going to manufacture parts right. for these things. And here, here's your nib section. But this is actually two pieces here. So oh, your, your nib, which is actually in, in and of itself another uh, feed and nib, this does un, 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 uh, uh, unscrew from the, the feed section. But then the section part, which threads onto the barrel, and then on the inside here is where the point holder gasket goes. Hey, we goes, sell those. Goes we right in there. Oh, and what cool. that does is that provides um, a seal around the, the snorkel tube because every little bit of this pen needs to seal perfectly for this to, this pen to fill. So if that O-ring in the back um, doesn't uh, doesn't seal up well, or it's a, it's a little bit dry, I then can't it's not see gonna. You. Sorry. That's and cool. All right. So you push in and twist, and the snorkel will retract. All right. I'm going to try that afterwards. So, with water first. <laughs> there it is. Apparently this one this one works reasonably well. Awesome. So. All right. Thank you. I feel better. So. But uh yeah, and then on the end here right in here where this if I pull this out, there's a gas, there's an o-ring that goes right there. Okay. And that helps help seal off the, the barrel end. Very cool. And look, it fit, it works. <laughs> Ta -da! Uh, I, I would definitely double check those over again before yeah. we before we put that up out. for sale. But right. I just I just pulled that right off the the, uh, the bench behind me. My my pile of stash of snorkels. Yeah, so. we have a few. Um. So what was it you were hiding from me earlier? By the way, <laughs> I don't hide anything from you. Yeah, I think you do. I tell you everything I buy. I think I was actually the one who initiated this overall purchase, but I don't know what you. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. I I have a good time with this because we bought uh, a while back. We bought a, a large collection of desk sets and. We've actually ever only looked at them once. Um, that was enough. Well, you know, I don't even think you looked at them all. Um, uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. But I, some of them are so crazy, so so crazy that um, you know we almost need theme music for this. Oh God. And we call it Brian's Ugly Desk Set of the Week. Oh, <sighs> Janet. <laughs> Help me out here. Janet has seen all these, so she's going to be laughing. All right, show me. I'm sitting. No, no, this, this, was, this was not too bad, I guess, but I just can't imagine having this on my desk. And actually, I need, I need something here for demonstration purposes here. Like bowling pin. No, no, yeah, we, we've had bowling pins like in the a past. We've had... Bowl um, on a bullfighter. No, 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 no. Monkey? <laughs> A gorilla. It's like a gorilla. No, bowling. no. Right, uh, well, the first, the first one was the bowling pin, and then the second one we did, I think, was the seahorses and the and then the seashells, the little Florida theme. This one here. Oh dear God. Here you go. <laughs> it's a what letter. It's a combination letter holder, and uh, I believe this is uh, temperature in Celsius. <laughs> I was gonna, it looked like a barometer for a minute. So. I, I think it's temperature in Celsius. Oh, because... Um, okay. <laughs> really? And, uh, and the pen the pen is, is not... Um, actually, what is this? <laughs> it's, it's called a ballpoint, honey. You don't know what this is. I know what I think this is, but this... No. Wow, what is this? Okay, it looks... This pen... Looks like a Parker 21, hooded nib and all, but, but 
<laughs> Check this action out. This is this is th this here, folks, is worth the price of admission. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this thing. It's got this weird. It's Don't got you a, dare, Jonathan. I will <laughs> hurt got, you. It's got a. It's got an integrated. Uh, dear God. Piston filler in it. <laughs> that 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 comes out the back. Look at this. See the the, the little green part comes out the back when you push it all dear the way. Dear God. So, the, the chat is having fun with this. Cliff says something about a hula girl. That's the next one, Cliff. Hula girl. Yeah. Cliff, you, <laughs> I think there is one, actually. <laughs> no, but check it out. I mean, you can put your... You can put your, you know, your your mail there. It's like it's got like a ribbed, uh, ribbed plastic there. It's in perfect condition. Oh um, dear heavens! <laughs> there's no mark, maker's mark on it anywhere. Because um, nobody wants to admit. Nobody to it. wants to admit to it. <laughs> um, we had, we had a couple in the lot that were Russian. So actually, it's marked. It, yeah. Um, all this one has on it is a P and then some symbol. Which I can't make out because I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Crazy, I, ugly desk set of the week. You know, it could be could be yours. <laughs> if you really, really are nuts, but Jonathan's anyway. trying to send you one made of a cow patty. Oh man! Don't even. Oh. I think I have your address. <laughs> I will find you. I used to, I used to have one, um, and I, th I think I got rid of it. Was a. Uh, um, a uh, ship's, uh, what do you call that? The wheel that had a, a EverSharp uh, desk desk pen in it. <laughs> a Lambo dashboard. That's what it looks like. Yeah, Lamborghini dashboard. Yes. This is the closest I'm going to get to a Lamborghini. I'm, <laughs> I guarantee you. So. Hey, you were pretty close to a Corvette last uh, what two weeks ago? Well, I was pretty close to a Corvette this weekend. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh man! So anyway, all right. Uh, so that's you know that'll that'll be our winter project after Columbus. We have basically two months off before the Philly show, and so your winter project uh, will be to um, get rid of those delightful. What are they? Five boxes? They're, of yeah, there are fugly five, desk sets. Five, and they're tight. Very. Very tightly packed. So I mean, there's no Jeez. there's no space through five large boxes of desk sets. That's crazy. So it's some, a, of, know, some it, of them are boring. Really, you know, they're eight Esther book eight balls and you know, whatever. Those are safe. Well, <laughs> safe. Boring. There's like in one box alone, I think there's six black eight balls. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> you, they were popular. What do you, you can't want? Give those things away these days. I'll bet you can. <laughs> I bet you can. You can. Hey, maybe you we could have a, we could have a write-in giveaway for the ugly dust set of the week or something. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'd we'd get like one entry. <laughs> oh my. Um, anyway. You know, no, if we come up with a particularly. Oh, we got a, we got an eBay link here to a dust set. <laughs> to the dust. You can, you can move on to the next one. Dried cow pile. Yeah, it's I'm bad. I'm totally checking this out. No, you are not. Dear God. Thanks, I have, John. I have almost every Esterbrook. Death. I don't wow. think that's an Esterbrook. Can we share? We we need to screenshot right. this thing. Can you share that? I, yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Go ahead. Share it with the wow. rest of us. Share it with the class. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sharing with the class. So, yeah, check this out. Oh, dried cow pile with ink pen holder. Ew. Look at that action. Dear Somebody God. thought that was a good idea. Oh. Is there a maker's right. mark on it? You know what? Mike is going to get on our case for <laughs> talking about, you know. Oh, it's even got, what, felt on the bottom? It's got you felt want to on protect... the bottom, yeah. <laughs> oh, my right. God. Meek, yes, it is. All right, good, good humor. We, there we, we go. We can't beat that, man. No, I'm not bidding on that. No. <laughs> Watch it show up at my door <laughs> in, in the PO box. It'll go right back to Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs>
it, it'll be like the the bad tie that everybody passes around in the family for Christmas. Oh it'll God. just become a, a Christmas and birthday kind of thing <laughs> between you and Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. You take it. I don't want it. You take it. I think my mother used to have a Christmas gift she would send back and forth to her friends every year. Something yeah. similar. Something's completely ugly. Yeah. Every year they would get the same thing. So That would work. Oh, all right. Let's, all right. Uh, let's anyway, move, move on, on where it's safer. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a boatload of cool new stuff that is coming in this week, <laughs> some stuff that's already up on the website. Um, Sorry. <laughs> still, thinking still, about, still thinking about a cow patty desk set. <laughs> Apparently people in the chat are still kind of paused on that. Going, really? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, as as many of you know, uh, we got Sailor in last week, um, and I gotta tell you, I'm really having fun with the inks. Uh, Epinard, I love, and Apricot, which is kind of funny because I don't do yellows and oranges, but it's just really a pretty shade. So I'm I'm liking that a lot. I like the Epinard. I think it's gonna be. Yeah. But, uh, we got a. Well, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say. I, I... You know, we always grab a pen for ourselves. You know, usually of every line that comes in. And usually we grab a pen. Brian is having a problem grabbing. It's, it's a serious problem. <laughs> it's a serious problem. <laughs> and, you know, I I, 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 I like them all every day. Takes every every single one of them. Even even the the the, the Pro Gear Slim that that's in that funky blueberry color. Oh my God, I love that color. It's not purple. It's not blue. It's oh. Frickin' cool. That's you know, it's not it's not too fruity to you know lose my. <laughs> I don't know. Your pen manhood. <laughs> my pen manhood. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, Con let's continue see. on. I, in right. fact, I, I've had such a problem. I haven't even inked one up yet. I know, I know, because just ink them all. You know, that's what you're gonna do. We're gonna have to have well, testers. Well, we're gonna have them as testers at the table yep. anyway, so I mean, people can try them out. But well, so why don't you just wait until then, and then you can see which one you like best. Well, I wanna. I, I'm thinking about the 1911, the large. I know, and you wanted your review before then anyway. But yeah. enough yeah. about your your uh, pen dilemma. <laughs> Yeah, Which is unusual. <laughs> First you world problems, know what right? You want. Yeah, it is. First world. Uh, we received in a huge box of leather, so that hey, has been hey, restocked. Hey, hey. Kids, kids show. Kid friendly. Family friendly. Leather pen cases. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Anderson. I want you put in this coffee, man. This is a lot. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you should try the pink lemonade. It's probably better for you. Um. So, big box of uh, leather pen cases finally got restocked from India. Um, almost everything we needed came in except six pen pen cases. Uh, I don't know what happened with that. We ordered them. They were supposed to ship, but uh, it's great to have the 24 back in stock. Uh, lots of black finally back, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, I saw you put up a boatload of uh, Estabrooks. Yeah, I finally, uh, finally got around to, to putting some of those up. Uh, a couple of, uh, well, <laughs> we had a, a bunch go right away, but uh, uh, some nice uh, SJs are still up and some really nice uh, dollar pens uh, that I put up, uh, including a couple, a couple of really beautiful, very early um, red uh, dollar pens with the early, uh, early clips. Um, so uh, those are up, and I'm actually working on another batch of uh, 10 or so um, uh, that uh, hopefully will be up in a, in a couple of days. Awesome. Yeah, so. I was excited to see those. People uh, are always hounding us to uh, to get pens up, and it's, it's hard when you're working on repairs and all the other stuff. So uh, we can't forget our bread and butter, though. Right. Uh, let's see. Delta Inc. arrived. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. It was yesterday yep. Yep. Uh, so we were uh, playing with those. Uh, some really pretty colors. I was I was very pleased. Uh, I just comes in a cute little box. Nice little bottle. We have them up on the site, right? 
Yep. Throw up on the side. Yep. So, just cute little bottle. Uh, I actually like the brown very much. I, I like that it's a, a nice, deeper, darker brown. And yeah, it looks nice. You were kind of uh, drooling over the the blue, I remember. Yeah, the blue, uh, it, it reminds me a little bit of, um, of Aurora blue, but maybe not quite as purpley. Yeah, pretty, nice, bright color. So. Yep, that's exciting. Uh, noodlers, so excited. I don't even know how heavy this box is, but uh, getting restocked on a bunch of Noodlers pens tomorrow. Um, more ebonites back in stock and uh, brush pens again, so that'll be nice to have those back in. And then another box probably coming in next week, so that'll be cool. Awesome. Uh, three new Organics Studio inks arriving on Thursday. The um, What's coming in? Uh, the Emerald City uh, L. Frank Baum and uh, yeah, sure. Mark Twain and Vanadium. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what color is that? <laughs> color is Vanadium in its natural state. I think it's purple? I don't know. I don't even remember. <laughs> Tyler just sends us stuff and he says, hey, these are I new. I, I keep teasing six, six him. Six new inks this week or whatever. Yeah, he needs to uh, slow down a little bit. His, his attitude is he needs to kind of ramp it up in the summer when he's out of school. And then uh, um, when he's in school, then uh, he'll have everything made, and he can he can just ship when he needs to. But he's spending uh, a lot of time in the summer um, trying to come up with new colors and build up stock, so that when uh, when he needs to be studying, that's what he's doing, not uh, cooking up ink in his tub or wherever he does it. <laughs> I don't think it's in his tub. <laughs> I teased him, but that's can, can, what it was. Can you picture that? There's like a house party, and <laughs> everybody's going, <laughs> you know. Dude, hey, what's, dude, in, what's the in the tub? Dude, yeah, Where's the beer? <laughs> yep. No, so those look pretty. Um, he's working on a lot of cool stuff. I've been very pleased with uh, the quality and how responsive he's been. So. Yeah, he's been hitting a lot of the shows, too. So. Yeah, yeah, which is great. So... Um, also, I, I mean, I'm getting like six boxes while you're at work tomorrow. Uh, J. Herbin Inc. So and some other Exacompta stuff, uh, other Exaclair stuff coming tomorrow. I don't even remember what's in it. I think some notebooks, definitely some ink, uh, a couple colors we've been out of, so it'll be nice to have that restocked. You know, I yeah. might be <coughs> and have to have to work from home tomorrow. <laughs> Uh-huh. No. I get more work done when you're not here. Well, I I'm distracted. You. I love you, too. I'm distracted. Get, but, here, honey, get the heck out the door. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. I got to label stuff and ship things out and, you know, <laughs> receive packages and go hang at the post office and oh answer emails and, you know, anyway... And then, uh, yeah, sailor stuff. I, I think that you're going to have to announce once you finally make a decision. You know, are you, we're, we're getting the 1911s in, right, the large? Yes, we are. Yeah. I don't know, is, is, anybody in the chat have a 1911 can compare it to the, the rest of the Stephanie series? Does. Stephanie's gonna, probably got one. She's going to torture you. Yeah, she, you know, she's probably got like three of them. And one's got like a, you know, the the music nib, which I'm thinking of, and one's got the zoom nib, and one's got the broad. I don't know. Just the blue is really pretty, and it's funny because you don't really buy the pen for the body. It's no, all not about really. The no, no, and it's you know it's a it's a pretty good pretty good value, but I I you know I don't I don't feel the need to have. Well, that's not true. I don't feel the need to have. <laughs> don't lie. Have, have you more do feel the need to have more than one. You know, I, I like the pro gear, but I, I think I like, I'm leaning towards the 1911, and I think it's partly due to Hugh because Hugh was was all set on getting the the 1911 with the music. Yeah. And I think it's I think the girth, uh, from what I understand, the girth and that and the pro gear 
the regular pro gear is about the same, which is is much nicer than I have big hands, so. So we could blame Hugh. Yeah, I absolutely. We blame everything on Hugh. Oh, somebody in the chat wants to know what a zoom nib is. Oh my God, this thing is funky. <laughs> <laughs> It took me a minute to figure it. I mean, I had I had done the research before, but it's freaking cool. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 really uh, cut quite uh, interesting. Um, so that what is it? Depending on how you hold it. You yes. A, yeah. You get a different line. It's very cool. And it's when you look at it, it's it's faceted basically. It's the yeah. best way I can describe it. It's not just you know, it's not just cut. It's cut this way, and you yeah. know, it's just it's, it's funky. Come to the show, we'll show it to you. Play with it. Yeah, yeah. it's very it's very cool. If you you might have to tear it out of Brian's hand. I'm happy to yeah. help. So anyway, enough of that. Anyway, um, I think that's it for new. We've just. Uh, had stuff delivered all, well, and the and the rest of the the snorkel solution stuff will be here tomorrow. So mm. it's going to be a busy couple days. So, well, I'm excited. Thinking, thinking about packing for DC right now. Yeah, I may have to. I mean, you you mentioned that earlier today. I thought you were nuts, but maybe. Well, some of the stuff that we have a lot of, I can pack the repair supplies and the the pen flush. Um, actually, we don't have to pack that much of that. Yeah. Um, you micromesh, you know, some of that stuff. Cartridges. I can pack the stuff that, uh, you know, we've got more than a dozen or two of. So. But anyway, it's it's making me nervous that it's coming up, and all of a sudden it's going to be here, and we're going to be driving down the road listening to Willie Nelson and having a good time. <laughs> We usually start out the trip. I usually drive so that Brian can check the weather and double check the GPS and all that. And um, it, sometime within about the first half hour, we play Willie Nelson on the road again. Yeah. Every trip. Classic, classic. Yeah, it's awesome. It's it's just the the best way to start out the trip to a pen show because some of them are, you know. Eight long. hours, which <laughs> long. Some of them are eight, which is actually not bad. But the ones that are, you know, pushing 20, 24 hours, those are rough. Yeah. Miami was rough. So. But uh, you have any shout outs this week? We do. We do. Um, <laughs> big <laughs> Thomas, we love you. <laughs> We got another letter. Uh, another letter from Thomas. Uh, we mentioned that we missed um, his letters. He had made a point to write. Um, actually, it was more than a letter a day for um, over a week, and uh, we loved it because he would tell us about his family or what he was doing. And and um, you all know that I love to know what kind of ink you use. It's not even so much the pen; it's the ink. And so with all of our writing contests, I want to have you write and tell me what color ink you're using. And so one message from Thomas was all of the inks that he'd used in all of his pens for the week. And then he was done with his week, and he was busy with other things. And then uh, randomly we got another letter, and he said that uh, we'd, we'd mentioned that we missed receiving them, and he said he missed writing them. So that was really sweet. And... Uh, we still have to write him back. I feel bad. It's just been crazy busy. Um, so a shout out to to Thomas. You rock. Thank you. Uh, a big shout out to uh, cousin Martin. Um, cousin Martin. <laughs> it's a private joke. Um, so Martin and I were exchanging emails about college and children and. Um, uh, trying to help kids do the right thing and learn their own lessons and, and all that good stuff. And, and it gives me hope because uh, Martin has successfully done that. So I, I know that people have have had their kids graduate from college and leave the nest. So I can't believe it. I know. It gives us hope. 
<laughs> so thanks for the hope, Martin. Um, a shout out to uh, Hugh and Carol. Shout out to Stephanie, who uh, Sorry, is I don't going have to be uh, working at our table in DC. So rest up now and start taking your vitamins. Um, I'm telling you. But you you're talking fun. to her or me? <laughs> well, both of you. I'm ready. I'm she's ready. Gonna, she's going to come like every like 15 minutes, she's going to pull something out of her pocket. Here, check this out. I know. She's like a pusher. It'll be like a, you know, I don't know. It'll be something crazy, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Uh, and uh, shout out to uh, Janet and David. Janet takes the most amazing photographs. And uh, so every day on Facebook, we just see really cool photographs. And uh, Janet gave me some some great feedback on a couple of our products. And uh, um, Janet's just great. And she and David are going to be so excited they don't have to mess with the PCA banners this year. Yeah, so those are nice banners. Happy. Yeah. So uh, that's about it. Uh, we should say hi to Cliff and Jonathan in the chat because they're just going at it. And... and <laughs> Um, and Jonathan, they're being a that, bad influence, I think is what that, they're um, being. That desk set was <laughs> something else. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I've got some bad desk sets, but... <laughs> you won't have that's, that. That's not... You won't have that. <laughs> Remember, I get the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can have it shipped to work. No, no, you can't. No. All right, anything else we want to... <laughs> I th I think I'm. I think we want to kill this. <laughs> I think I'm done, man. That's yeah, scary. All right. We'll have all sorts of exciting things next week. We might even have yeah. a special guest if we can uh, finagle that. So awesome. Uh, anything else? That should that should be it for now. That should be it. We've been rambling on long enough. <laughs> uh, comments, <laughs> suggestions for topics. Use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens. P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. Or you can catch us online. Uh, you can send us an email. Uh, Brian at AndersonPens.net. Or Lisa at AndersonPens.net. You can follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com slash AndersonPens. We're on Facebook, Facebook.com slash AndersonPens. Our blog is at blog.AndersonPens.net. And our website, AndersonPens.net. And join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming events or pre-orders. Thanks for listening to our podcast. We will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Good night.